welcome to Ecoholics. In this video, we'll be understanding the movement and shift in the supply curve. But you see the two terms here, movement and shift. So talking when we talk, SE, when we talk randomly, so we use these terms synonymously, ki move there, shift there. But here when we talk about uh, the graphs, movement and shifts, these two terms hold very different meaning. So we'll be understanding the movement and shift in the supply curve in this video. So let's first start with the movement along the supply curve. So what does movement in the supply curve mean? Let's first read this, okay? So movement along the supply curve refers to all such situations when change in the supply, you see, change in the supply of a commodity is related to change in the own price of the commodity. Remember, change in the own price of the commodity, okay? So what happens basically, how the movement happens? It happens due to increase in the quantity supplied of a commodity. So you all know the law of supply, when the price rises, the quantity supplied also rises and because of this rise in quantity supplied, the supply curve moves upward or downwards. When there is increase in supply, when there is increase in supply, the supply curves move upwards. And when there is decrease in supply, the supply curve moves downwards. Okay, so let's uh, draw a graph and then we'll be able to understand more nicely. What do we take on the y-axis? We take price. And what do we take on the x-axis? We take quantity. Now, our initial price was P. And the quantity supplied at that price, price was Q1. Now, our price has risen to P1. And our quantity supplied has also risen to Q2. This Y has the quantity supplied risen because the price has risen. This is the law of supply. The, the price increases, the quantity supplied also increases. So, to know the movement, so let's join the two points and then you'll able to understand nicer. We'll join it. So can you see, this is the point A and this is the point B. So what is happening? You follow the upward arrow. From here to here. The price has risen, the quantity supplied has also risen. So it is shown as the upward or downward movement along the supply curve. You can see it on the last line. This is the upward movement. When your price has risen, the quantity supplied has also risen. The movement happens, why? It happens mainly because of two reasons. It is. It happens because of the change in supply. And change in supply happens due to which factor? Here, it happens due to the change in own price of the commodity. So when the price rises, the quantity supplied also rises, okay? And this moves the supply curve upward, okay? From A to B, okay? Or yahan pe ulta kya hota, what would happen? When the price has fallen, the quantity supply also falls. So that is the downward movement, okay? So this is what the movement along the supply curve means. Now let's read these points and understand. So movement along the supply curve refers to all such situations when change in the supply of commodity is related to change in own price of the commodity. Now, you know, price rises, the quantity supply also rises. Price falls, the quantity supply also falls. So other determinants of supply. What are the other determinants of supply? It is raw material, technology, government policy, etc. These are the other determinants of supply. So all these factors, they remain constant other than the price of the commodity. Now it is shown as the upward or downward movement along the supply curve. I hope the movement along the supply curve is clear to all of you. Let's move further and understand what does the shift, shift in supply curve mean. Now let's draw a graph to understand this. But we need to understand one thing here, the shift in the supply curve is not happening due to the own price of the commodity. Here you need to make a note that the shift is happening because of the other determinants of the supply curve. 
So what are the other determinants? We just recalled it in our previous slide. So what are the other determinants? Raw material, technology, government policy, all of those things are your other determinants of supply curve other than what? Your price. So we'll take, suppose technology, okay? Now, there is some kind of technological upgradation in production of say pens, okay? Now what is happening when your technology gets upgraded? So the cost, the production cost of the firm decreases. So what happens here? We take price. Here we take quantity. And the price is same. What we said, ki the price is not changing. We are not talking about the price here. So the price is constant of pen. That is P. So, what when the technology was not upgraded, the firm was supplying. So, what happens is, this is your supply curve 1 and we need to erase this part. So, let's see what happens. So, this is your supply curve. This is the point where the firm was producing or supplying the quantity when the technology was not upgraded. Now when the technology is upgraded, so upgraded technology means what the production cost goes down. So the supply, the producer can now supply more quantity, more quantity in the same price. Only the technology has been upgraded. So with the upgradation of technology, what happens? The cost comes down and the, now the producer can uh, sell more at the same price. So your supply curve shifts towards this. So now at the same price earlier we were, the producer was supplying PK. Now he is able to supply PT, a uh, PT amount of pens. So this is what the meaning of shift in supply curve means. So th this is what the shift is. And what was the movement? This was the upward and downward going. That was the meaning of your movement. So when you go leftward or you go rightward, that is the meaning of shift. And shift happens due to n number of reasons, but not the own price of the commodity. Now let's read and understand. So all such situations when change in the supply of commodity is related to the factors other than own price of the commodity, other than. You see, here it is written other than. So that is the meaning of uh, shift in supply curve. And let's read the second point. Own price of the commodity is assumed to be constant. You can see it on the graph. It is assumed to be constant while any other determinants of supply changes. Here we have taken what? Here we have taken technology. Okay, the technology has been upgraded. And lastly, it is shown as the forward and backward shift in the supply curve. So movement and shift. So that is what the shift and the movement in supply curve means. I hope this video is clear to all of you. And please like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel Ecoholics. Thank you.